Well, new at noon, we are getting a look at a new hospice care facility under construction in Virginia Beach. The Desorts Hospice House of Hampton Roads aims to address the lack of end of life care in Hampton Roads. This comes after Old Dominion University's economists identified hospice care as a growing need in the 2023 State of the Region report. Casey Baylor shows us the progress at the site. An idea five years in the making is taking shape on Upton Drive in Virginia Beach. The site will be home to the Desorts Hospice House of Hampton Roads. Victoria Crenshaw, the executive director of the nonprofit Hospice House, says the region needs a facility of this kind. We didn't have one. I've traveled to other areas, North Carolina, Maryland, and there's hospice houses there. They've been in existence for 20 years. She says now it's time to bring more end-of-life care to Hampton Roads. And Hampton Roads, um, this will be the first freestanding hospice house. This is a partnership between Westminster Canterbury on Chesapeake Bay and Beth Shalom Village. Since March, construction crews have worked on building the facility set to have 12 beds. Which is not enough for this area. According to Old Dominion University's 2023 State of the Region report, an independent study identified the need for at least 45 inpatient beds here in Hampton Roads. And Crenshaw says this facility is the start of achieving that goal. To be able to provide care to individuals at end of life so their families can be families and they can come here and be supported. Along with end of life care, the hospice house will assist families with other concerns. It's inpatient, which means that you, the individual, is having issues really managing pain or, as I said, the family needs a break and the resident would come here for a couple of weeks. Crenshaw hopes the facility can serve as a source of support for families during a time of grief. In Virginia Beach, I'm Casey Baylor for 13 News Now.